Who is Alessandro Volta? Volta was born in Como, a province of Italy. In 1774, he became a professor of physics at the Royal School. A year later, he invented and introduced the electrophoresis capable of producing static electricity. He believed that he would receive funds frequently with this invention. Volta studied the chemistry of gases between 1776 and 1778. After reading American Benjamin Franklin's Flammable Air article, he discovered methane and carefully searched for methane in Italy. In November 1776, he found methane in Maggiore Lake and began isolating methane in 1778. He conducted experiments by firing methane with the help of a spark in a closed box. Volta also worked on the subject of capacitance. He studied the electric potential and charge separately and discovered that they were interconnected. This can be called Volta's capacitance law. For this, the unit of the electric potential is called volts. In 1779, he became a professor of experimental physics at the University of Pavia. Almost 40 years retained this position. In 1794, Volta married Teresa Peregrini, an aristocratic woman of Camelu, and they had three children with the names Giovanni, Flaminio and Zanino. In honor of his work, Napoleon Bonaparte made Volta count. Volta retired in 1819 and Camnago land in Como was named Camnago Volta in his honor. Volta's body is buried in Camnago Volta. The monument of Tempio Voltiano, the legacy of Volta, is located in public gardens by the lake. The original legacy used by Volta in her experiments is on display in a museum to honor her. Volta and Galvani Luigi Galvani discovered something he called animal electricity when he quickly brought the two metals into contact with the frog's leg. Volta realized that the frog leg is the conductor and electrical detector, which we now call electrolytes. Instead of the frog's leg, he used the cloth soaked in brine and detected an electric flow similar to his previous work. In this way he discovered an electrochemical circuit. He also discovered that the potential difference between the two identical electrodes is the electromotive force of galvanic cells. This can be called Volta's electrochemical circuit law. In 1800, as a result of his professional disagreement with Galvani, he invented the first electric cell, the voltaic battery, which constantly creates electric current. As a result of the Volta trials, he determined that the most effective metal pair was the zinc-copper pair.